shake your booties for black girl nerds. Why is it important, in your opinion, for females or women to tell the stories of other women? For so long, we haven't been allowed to tell our own story, you know? Um, the dominant gender or, um, you know, the gender in charge has been um, telling our stories, um, but we haven't been allowed to tell either our stories or um, their gender. So I feel like the fact that we can have that shorthand, especially the way I built the show with other women, like there's mostly um, Latina women uh, writing this. There's, um, you know, mostly Latina women shooting this. This season is all yeah. Latina directors, you know, and it's all women editing this. It, it matters um, because this is an insider show. Yeah. This, this is from an insider's point of view and uh, what better way to tell it from the inside, you know, yeah. than by having women tell it. Yeah. Sexuality, yeah. spirituality, and you know, sex are um, themes that are very much potent and present in the series. How deliberate were you in telling those types of often unspoken stories? There's always a purpose for each sex scene, yeah. always. Um, uh, either the character, it shifts the character somehow, or it resolves something, yeah. or uh, it reaffirms <laughs> um, a vice. Uh, but it, it's always for a purpose, especially because we only did three hours of TV the first season, only five um, the second season. So I have to be very economical with yeah. uh, my sex scenes. Now, I don't know if you saw the first episode of the season, but yes. it starts with an orgy, right? Yes. But it's, it has a function. Yes. Uh, Lynn shifts. She pivots away from a, a face of her life that she's leaving, and you see it with no words. Yeah. Um, you sort of see that shift, and then that sets her off for the whole season. Yeah. So every sex scene has a purpose. Yeah. Now the cinematography in this yeah. film is gorgeous. It's Thank beautiful. Um, how did you go about choosing your cinematographer? And, you know, why? Why did you chose the cinematographer that you chose? Because um, it's very raw to me when I'm looking at it. it look, the footage looks real, looks very present. It's just pretty. Yeah. How'd you go about choosing your cinematographer? So, an Afro Latina was very my nice. first season's um, nice. cinematographer. She'd never been on a, f um, had a, f a first unit, she'd been on second unit. But yeah. the way I got a shot, about, and I'd never been a showrunner, I gave yeah. her a shot. And she just, pure talent, you yeah. know? The second season, we, um, we worked with a second cinematographer. Um, and it just enhanced the world too, you know? What was the ethnicity uh, of the second? Uh, uh, a, a white queer woman. Uh, and it mattered for the queer scenes too. I was gonna say that. Yeah. Do you think that the culture or ethnicity of a person influences the way they shoot people of color or their stories? Yes, we had so, uh, Carmen Cabana, my, um, my um, cinematographer from first and second season, um, we talked a lot about um, the different levels of colonization in Latinx skin, yeah. you know? We are, and we either uh, see it washed off uh, on, on, on TV or uh, super saturated, it's almost brown face, yeah. that we wanted to get it right. We wanted to feel like, and, and look like we look. Yeah. So that was very important, the color, the um, you know, colorizing it correctly. Speaking of color, um, Lynn and uh, Emma seem somewhat assimilated, um, and they could quite arguably consider, be considered white passing. And they, or they white do Latin. try to pass. I mean, you could say that they practice that. What role does colorism play in uh, Latin communities? I mean, it's, it's huge. We're still living with, with the, like, the effects of colonization. We walk around with it, and in any group of Latinx, it's going, it's going to be an issue. You know, the indigenous, the African, the Spanish. It, it's still, it's still not gel gelling well sometimes because we, we do suffer from colorism. I think we touch on it a little bit more season two, because we just sort of touched on on, on the essence of it, but. Um, we talked about it a little more. Um, I look forward to it. Yeah, I, I look forward to it. I was so it. excited when I began to watch the series. It's so raw, it's so different. So thank you. Thank you. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.